see I've done a lot more especially uh, in here but uh, first things first the uh, the let's play has been transitioned to a server uh, there's more than just him um, the others aren't on at the moment but uh, th the plan here is hopefully it'll make things more interesting we'll be able to get voice going and whatnot for you know like group dungeoning and stuff but uh, here's what I've been doing this is a library um, these rows of torches here along the sides and whatnot, they're going to be like this, three high bookcases, and uh, I intend to, let's go up here, uh, the entire wall of this, so there's going to be one walking space, the entire wall of this is also going to be bookcases. Um, I haven't gotten anywhere close to the, uh, the reads for that yet, I've been trying to make them as I get the materials. Farmed up a lot of wood. You can tell I've got a lot of apples, but uh, my plan for today, um, I grab this, since it's part of my plan for the day, we are going to go make my greenhouse. This is the uh, entrance to the house at the moment. I didn't think it was too bad. Um, where'd you come from, sheep? I've already got sheep. I don't need you. Okay. Grab some water. This is my uh, other wheat farm I set... Wheat. Reed farm I set up just because I, I need a lot of reeds. And that alone is not going to sustain it. Um, but uh, I already set out the, uh, the border of the area. As you can tell, I've done a lot more terraforming. And I don't think I have this pretty sure that it's one too long yeah so my other idea was going to be I'm gonna put one on each end which I think what I need to do is put my infinite spring back here I'm probably gonna keep that one that I have out in front of the house because I actually kinda I think I want to make a small little pond area out there but I've also considered doing that like back here, but I have I have another idea for that area, so um Yeah. So there's probably gonna be a pond out front. I have another idea for back here, but it's gonna have to wait until the greenhouse is made. Because I'm gonna have wheat and reeds in here and some flowers. I'm gonna need to get some flowers, but that shouldn't be too bad. Um First things first, I should probably make the walls. I think I'm going to make this double doors. So, this, oh. That'll go across there. And that'll be the door in. Not quite sure how tall I want to make this. Thinking maybe four for the top of the walls. Oh. I'm going to be very careful not to waste glass. Which is unfortunately going to be harder than it sounds. Oh, now I've got uh, one other person. When I first started trying to record this episode, to introduce you guys to the fact that it's on multiplayer now, they, they kept on trying as hard as they could to screw up my recording. But, uh, yeah, it didn't work did not work at all. Um, plan for the server is going to be uh, whitelisting. So, you know, if people do get the IP, they won't be able to just randomly join. Um, but, uh, one thing I'm looking for is some, at least one other person who plans to do Let's Plays that would like to join in a multiplayer server. And, I mean, there's going to be probably going to use Skype for any of the uh, group stuff, um, so, just in case anybody cares, and a slight advertisement, you could 
gullet. Hmm. Yeah, this should look fine. I am going to do a sort of... I don't know how to describe it. I'm going to call it like a, a barn roof. What the hell was that? I think it might have been something outside. I have my window open so I can hear st stuff from outside. It sounded like something backfired. Which was a little ridiculous sounding. And... Okay, yeah. So... I, yeah. Basically, greenhouse. Make a short story... Make a long story short. That's the door there, so... The peak of this will be right about... Here. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to have enough glass for this. Of course, so I did find that desert, so glass should not be an issue. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not going to have enough glass. Almost positive of that. But, uh, I'll go get that. Um, I'm sure you probably don't just want to see me sitting here building. This was kind of more or less to give you an idea of what I was going to do. Because you probably don't want to see all the building. Um, I am going to grab stuff for in here. I don't have the flowers, but um, basically it's going to be reeds along the outer sides of each of these sets of water. The whole entire inner part of the water is going to be wheat, and then the very border of the entire thing is going to be uh, flowers, but they're going to be changing back and forth, so it's going to be like yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red. Um, let me grab some flowers and just give you an example. Since there are definitely flowers just sitting around here. And that should do it. Ooh. Guess we'll grab another red one. Rose, if you will. Dandelions and roses. Put that on my bar. Yeah, I'm probably not going to have enough glass to actually finish this, but it's got walls. It's the important thing at the moment. So. The flowers are going to basically be like that the whole way around the entire outside of the inside, if that makes sense. And as for these little mountain areas here, I plan to like terraform that entire area down. And I realize I've got a whole slew of different uh, plans going on here. Still haven't finished the house, working on the library, now I'm trying to make a greenhouse. And I do plan to put a wall around the entire outside of my property. In case you're wondering, the sheep are now over here in their own little pen. How? Ugh. You stupid sheep. I only need three of them anyhow. I uh, put little border areas on the edge of the house there. I think it makes it look not quite so solid, we'll call it. Solid sounds like a good word. I'm just going to place this glass back in here for now, since you know what I plan to do with that. And I'm going to grab all of these stone bricks and stuff. And I'm going to need a stack of dirt. Which I have a lot of dirt, so that's, that's no issue at all. Whoops. This ladder isn't going to be permanent. This ladder is only here for the purpose of uh, being able to get up and down this. And the dirt I'm about to place is going to be removed. It's just there as an easy way to handle things. But I'm sure you noticed I finished the enchanting table. And I have an idea for something I want to do in the future with that. So, that's going to have to wait though. Because like my escalator system, I'm also going to need slimes for sticky pistons which slimes are one thing I haven't been able to 
find. Like, I got one slime ball the one day, because there was a slime down in my branch mine. And I've considered just expanding the branch mine, um, two in each direction. And I mean, the branch mine is huge. It has to go through at least one slime chunk. But I'm not really in any need for cobble, so... You know, I say that now, but one day, especially if I build the entire wall around this like I plan, I'm going to need a lot of stone brick. But, uh, just get these going here so I can show you what I plan to do with this. The entire plan for this entire thing is, well, I'm going to go underneath, and because you can place half slabs upwards, like you can place them t on the top of a set of blocks now, I'm going to make it look like it's tapering up half a block at a time. But, uh, you know, let's just go over here for a second. This entire roof, yeah, it looks like wood on the inside, but I have cobblestone stuff on the outside. It, uh, you know, it just kind of tapers up like this, but it goes the whole way across the roof for getting back over here is a little bit tricky. For uh, this one over here, what I want to do is I want to do something more along the lines of this. I want to have, well, this isn't very specific. Let me get a little bit in here. What am I doing? Now, I realize these uh, things aren't going to look quite right. Shouldn't look too bad once I get on the inside, but uh, it's going to be a collection of roofs, basically. These things are not all the same size. I also did not rip out that dirt. That's going to be a bit of a pain to remove. Whoops. Wrong block. But, uh, this episode was being more of designed as an update, and, uh... I know it's a little bit late in the episode to be mentioning this, but there should, in theory, be a new, um, intro on in this episode. One, uh, more designed for the multiplayer. But, uh... That's... There may or may not be, um... One of the ideas that I had for the intro basically required that I record multiple episodes in advance. And I do plan to um, expand the house itself more in that direction, but I don't know if my plan for that is going to be all that easy, if that makes any sense. Well, not easy. It'll be easy enough, but it'll be very time-consuming. You guys may or may not want to see all that. I don't know. You'll kind of have to let me know on that one. But, uh... You know, I have an idea of... Whoops. How I want to make my roof. Besides screwing up, apparently. And it's not going to look quite right. I wonder how the... looks like the back's going to line up to just be one in the center. But... Whatever, that'll be fine. I'm actually not too concerned about how the roof looks, because I'm not really going to be up here ever. And hopefully, this is a half slab. So hopefully there should be enough light from the torches to prevent spawning. Probably going to put some kind of, like, just an overhang around the whole outside. But I'm not sure on that one either. Probably won't. House is going to look a little weird. But, uh... I could actually chop down the entire little border area here the whole way around. And then put, uh... A half slab just on top of that. That might help with that. But, uh... That would eliminate most of my torch space. So... I'm going to avoid that at the moment. But, uh... Ooh. That was not my intended way down. But I wanted to see, let's look up and see, have a look at how this is. But uh, 
the dirt there kind of screws with it. Oh, that's part of what I was worried about with that. It, oh, okay, yeah, never mind. Let's just go up here. Now, this is pretty much what I had in mind. It's going to, you know, taper one in the whole way around it and the whole way up. And it's probably going to look kind of funny from down below, but whatever. I probably won't look up at the ceiling too much. Whoops. Placing them in the wrong spot. But, uh, another building episode. Hopefully I'll be able to get some kind of, like, group cave episode in the near future. Should help get you guys introduced to the gang as well. But most of them aren't on at the same time as the others and whatnot. So getting everybody all at once could potentially be very difficult. But, uh, now that you know how I plan to do the roof... I can finish that, and I'm probably going to put, like, some kind of a window or something back here. All these furnaces are probably going to get moved, for sure. Um, I wonder if I left anything in them. No, it looks like I cleared them all out. I kind of want to put, like, windows the whole way along the back of this. But, uh, I'm going to need to go form a lot sand. So I'm probably going to head over to the desert with an empty inventory uh, at some point. Aside from a diamond shovel. Which, uh, I kind of want to do an enchant. So, let's make a diamond pick. Alright, all my wood's over here. We're going to end this episode with me making a diamond pick and enchanting it with level 18. Which... I may have to, I have a better plan for the future, but in the current state of things, I may have to just place torches on the bookcases to disable them, to make it easier to get what I'm looking for, so I'm going to do that. That should hopefully reduce the enchanting levels that show up. Oh, perhaps a little bit too much. Say what it is, it's probably blocking them in a diagonal so it's not getting the ones up on the the top. Either. S no? Okay, torches are bad, okay. Let's take those out of here. 17, 17. Ah, here we go, 18. And well, I'll at least be able to get obsidian faster. But, uh... Wow. Four skeletons? Five, if you want the one inside my sheep. It's crazy. But, uh... That, that's it for now. Oh, more iron. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I've... I did quite a bit of, uh, branch mining. Needless to say. And obviously I did a lot of wool farming and whatnot, because I got an entire black and white wool checkerboard in here. I've got the red carpet and the red carpet. But, uh, that's it for the moment. I haven't made my portal to the nether, because I haven't went and farmed up the obsidian yet. I do have a spot where I plan to get the obsidian. So, that will happen when it does... Okay, let's see. It just became daytime. I was like, interesting? He's burning. I thought it just became night. But, uh, I got a bunch of redstone, and it just keeps multiplying. Cobble, dirt, all that random stuff. Actually, I almost got a full stack of arrows already, which is pretty impressive. But, uh, yep, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.